One extremely powerful tool that we have in the Line 6 Helix is the ability to add not only a single cab, but a dual cab block. Now there's a lot of potential benefits to this. So you'll see here that I have a Placate or Dirty Amp just at its stock settings. Now I'm gonna come over to my next block. I'm going to add a cab. And if you notice up here, it says single cab. And if I add one of those, we get our one single cab. I'm just picking an arbitrary cab here with no thought behind it. Really, we can choose all of our different parameters. But if we come up to the top of our menu, we can go to dual cab. And what you'll see is two speakers with two microphones on it and two potentially different cabs as well. We can have those locked together so they are the same cab uh, by hitting this little button here. So what I can do is I could come in here and let's come down. I've locked that. We come over to say a Greenback 25 and you'll notice both of them change. If I didn't have the lock button on, only one of them would have changed. And you'll notice that we have a lot of the same controls. Mic, position, distance, angle, low cut, high cut level. Now we have a pan control and a delay control. We'll talk about that in just one second. What this allows us to do is maybe take two different cabs and combine them together or the same cab and combine them with two different mics. A really common choice would be to take something like an SM57 or a 57 Dynamic on one and maybe a Ribbon 121 on the other and we could mess around with blending those two by using the level control. So let's just see what we have sound wise here. Right? And we could decide that, you know, maybe I want a little bit less of the graininess. I can take the level of the SM57 down. Notice I selected it and I turned the level down. Got rid of a lot of it. We could blend that in. Versus just having the darker ribbon mic, right? Or we could say we want more of that one and just a little bit of the ribbon mic blended in. So we could definitely combine different mics, but there's something else we can do that's kind of cool too. If we are utilizing a stereo preset, we could actually take these, pan one left and one right. Then we would want to make sure that they're properly level matched. That's just going to depend on whether we are utilizing stereo in the studio if we want. We could even take that and add a bit of a delay to one side. Let's start with 20 milliseconds. Just to give it more of a doubling effect. Obviously, I would fine tune that a little bit more, but I'm trying to give you just a very quick little rundown of this. Now, the other thing we can do, if we did have both mics up the center, and let's say we had our ribbon mic pulled back at a farther distance. We do have a, del a setting here now on the delay of auto, and what that's going to do is automatically time and phase align the two microphones for any of the phasing issues we can get when we have two microphones at different distances in the studio. You'll hear quite a difference here. Zero milliseconds to auto. So you want to play around with that. The folks at Line 6 do recommend that for most users, zero milliseconds is going to be fine. But if we wanted to mess with that, that is something else we can do. And we can also play around with our own kind of alignments here too. So there's a lot of powerful tools within here by combining different speaker cabinets, different microphones, different delay times, different panning settings, and it opens up a lot of doors to really bring our tones to new levels. I hope that you found that helpful. Hope it's something you can incorporate into your workflow. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. Links are below to the preset that you're about to hear on the outro.